<sighs> hey, what's up, everybody? What's uh, what's happening? What's going on? Welcome to a conversation. My name's Asa Green River. This is YouTube.com slash Borderline Entertainment. Please consider following. I know that there hasn't been content in a while, but that will change and we'll get into that. Um, you can also follow on Twitch.tv slash Borderline Entertainment. You can follow me personally on either Twitter, or I guess it's X, at AGreenRiver07 or TikTok. Um, so you can follow me either places because uh, that's where I'll, uh, I'll be posting primarily, primarily. But anyways, thank you so much for being on this journey with me, for being uh, in the audience watching this video. And if you're liking the video, thank you a little bit extra. And if you're commenting, thank you that little bit extra more. Um, but I wanted to, again, I wanted to wrap with you. I wanted to chop it up with you right now and, and tell you, and not necessarily because I feel like I have to, but because I want to. And as somebody who creatively is always running, I'm always my wheels are always churning. I'm always thinking about my content. I'm always thinking about my community. And as as every day passes and I don't make content, the more uh, the more anxiety I get. And now this might seem dramatic, but I don't I don't care. <laughs> um, but with that, you know, let's let's just jump into 2023. That's what this is all about. That's what this video is. I haven't been on your screens probably in a while. Um, unless you're watching old content, which if that's you, thank you so much. I want to talk to you about where have I been? What's been happening? What's 2023 been like? And what's it going to look like for me moving forward? <sighs> Let's take things back to, to January 1, if that's okay, if you'll indulge me. So I started off the year, you know, with, with a goal in mind to stream at least once every single week for the year. Because in 2022, and, and that's the thing with life, you know, is, is life just kind of hurls, you know, a bunch of new things. You 2022, I had my second child. I had my daughter um, and, you know, I got a new career, I guess, you know, still in marketing, but I got a new job at a new company. Um, so there's just a lot of big changes that were going on. Um, and, and with that came, all right, I need to like really focus and, and, and buckle down. Um, but I still did things. Right. Like I still did things in 2022, just not as much as I, I would have liked, you know, two kids and a big move and, and jobs and all that stuff. That'll do it to you. Um, and uh, Kiba, my dog died um, in, in 2022. And sorry. Ooh. Um, and so in coming into the new year, I wanted to I wanted to do more. Right. I wanted to to put the pedal to the metal. You know, 2022 had its ups and its downs, but I was going to start the year freaking strong, man. You know, and, and I had goals in mind, but what I didn't expect was the litany of hurdles that I would face this year. You know, it's November 16th when I'm recording this. So we're almost at the end of the year. So I feel like, you know, this is a good time. It's also Native American Heritage Month. And as an indigenous person myself, I'm like, I have to say something. And I haven't said a whole lot this year because of everything that has preceded this um, this time, this day. But so for those who don't know who, who haven't followed me on social media, I was laid off. You know, I worked at a big tech company and with the economic downturn, that is what it is. Um, you know, the gaming industry, obviously, we know is in turmoil. You know, I, it's horrible the things that are happening to everybody, and the same thing was happening in big tech. You know, there there are are layoffs across the board, and they're still happening. And so I got the news that I was going to be laid off. Um, you know, it, it it was what it was, um, and I looked at that as you know kind of a blessing because this is going to be a chance for me to just like sink my teeth into my content. Right. And and spend all that time with my family and just recharge. You know, your boy has I haven't had a holiday. I haven't had like a real vacation, like a real break in a long time. And I thought, you know what, this is going to be the time to do it. Um, and so, you know, in my mind, you know, in the first parts of the layoff, of course, I'm always applying for jobs. Um, but, you know, I wanted to take that first time just to to be with my family. You know, I, I the my end date was coming and. I thought to myself, you know what, 
I thought I was going to jump headstrong into my content, but what I really need to do is I just need to like take some time for myself. I'm tired. Um, and I need to just take some time for my family. Um, but as time went on, that gap got bigger and bigger. You know, I intended to stream, but it didn't happen because as I was spending this time with my family and, and, and alone, I was realizing well, I'm super tired. I'm super burnt out. I need this time for myself. And it was incredible. And it was incredible. And it's still incredible. I'm still, I don't have a job yet. Um, but as I, even though it was incredible, as time was going on, like I said, my wheels are always churning. So I was always thinking about my content. I was always thinking about my community. I was always thinking people are waiting to hear from you, Asa. Like you the big dog. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's what I was thinking. That's what I was feeling. And as time went on, I was like, you know, I'm not ready. I'm not ready to jump back in. And then, you know, for those who don't know, you know, I, I really struggle with anxiety and depression. And so as, you know, it, it, it went out further and further from the time that I had last made content, I was like, well, no one's going to watch. No one's going to care. You know, I have all these big ideas, but where do I even start? It's been so long. I'm rusty. What am I going to do? Um, and, and, and so I just, you know, I sat on my hands and then as the, the job situation got, you know, worse and worse, like I said, I still don't have a job. This isn't, I mean, it is, I need a job. So if you're out there and you're watching and you know, somebody who can hook me up with a good marketing role, you know, let me know, holla at your boy. Uh, but anyways, so, you know, it, it was, it was pretty quiet during the summer, you know, I, I knew I had some time and I wasn't too worried, but as time went on, I'm like, okay, I'm not hearing anything back. And so from that, you know, there's a lot to unpack there and, and maybe I'll do, you know, a podcast episode or something like that where I can dive into the in intricacies of, of what that really was like and, and, and what that did to me a little bit deeper. Um, but anyways, you know, that, that just made my depression a lot worse. And so now, of course, I had the anxiety of, you know, I haven't done this in a while, nobody's going to care. And then now the depression is really setting in just because of my current situation. Um, and I was like, you know what, I, I'm not planning on making anything for the rest of the year. I can't. I don't have the mental facilities to handle it. And, you know, with everything that's happening in the industry, in the world, um, it's just a really sucky time. But my my partner being the amazing woman that she is, is like, but I'm tired of hearing you complaining about not being able to create content. So you need to do something. So that's what this video is. I'm, I'm doing something. I'm putting something out. Um, so yeah, so, so that's what that was. You know, there, that's where I've been. I've been mulling over ideas and, you know, chicken scratch, writing things down every time I think about it. But that's really where it's been. Um, in the future. So let's look at the future. So that's, you know, a little bit of the past and, you know, a lot of what's happening right now. What's what's the future for my content? Am I still going to, is this something I still want to do? Is this worth it? And, and in my mind, yes, it is 100% worth it because A, I'm a super creative person. And if I don't get to be creative in any capacity, whether that is at work, at home, in my own content, I feel stifled. Um, so creatively, I'm ready to go. So that's, all right, so we know that that's gonna happen. Logistically, mentally, am I gonna be able to handle it? Am I gonna be able to do it? Um, yes. It's, I don't know what it's gonna look like. I don't know the cadence because if you've been watching this this channel for a while, if you know me at all, you know that I want to do a lot and I'm going to do a lot. Um, so it's just figuring out what can I handle because uh, first and foremost is, you know, is my family and, and, and his work. Um, but what am I going to do? Um, because I think I've got things to say, you know, as as releases, game releases have come out um, as news has, has, has been broken. Um, I've had these super strong opinions and I'm like, I need to tell you what I think about the, the game of the year nominees for the game awards. I need to tell you what I think about some of the big releases this year. You need to know what I think about Starfield. You need to know what I think about Diablo four. You need to know what I think about Baldur's gate three. You need to know what I think of sea of stars. I can't keep that voice silent. You can guarantee yourself that the content is going to be coming. 
But anyway, so when it comes to, you know, past, present, future, when it comes to creating content, there's your answer. It's been 10 minutes already. Wow. Um, And I was planning on just making this a 10 minute video. But anyways, let me just paint some pictures for you real quick. As we're looking ahead, if you're wondering just what's been going on with me, because I've still been getting into my my geek and nerd love. Um, You can't see this right here, but first of all, shout out to Spindrift. Thank you so much for continuing to show me some love. That is still all I drank. Um, My PS3 has been plugged in. Actually, I just unplugged it to do this. I always feel like I need to show proof. Uh, My PS3 is right here. Um, I've still been playing games. I've been playing just about anything and everything. There are a few things that I'm I'm passing on because I'm not, I can't play everything all the time, despite not having a job. Um, but I've been playing a bunch of games. You know, I haven't played Spider-Man Two yet, even though it's very high on my list. But I've been playing a bunch of uh, Super Mario Wonder. Um, I've been, of course, playing uh, Metal Gear Solid. I know I had spoken about that earlier in the year. I'm still working on that that video series. I knew that I was gonna get laid off, but I didn't obviously didn't know what you know what the future was gonna hold. Um, but I I promised Jared Petty that I was gonna be putting out this video, so I gotta put out this 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 video series. So it's gonna happen. Still, I'm still playing through the entire Metal Gear Solid series, and that that's gonna be a whole thing. Um, but yeah, so I, I am still playing some games. Um, but I've jumped into some new stuff. Okay, you know, I've jumped into some new stuff. Uh, First and foremost, shout out to Magic the Gathering. Because that collaboration that you did with Lord of the Rings. Okay. (laughs) That that collaboration that you did with Lord of the Rings made a, a Magic fan out of me. I've had friends who have played. I've watched people play. Shout out to Mike the Knight, who has been trying to get me to play forever. Um, and, and it has been hanging out with me, helping me learn the ropes and everything like that. Um, I'm full blown obsessed with magic, the gathering, um, watching streamers, content creators, make their videos and stuff. Um, you know, buying packs, buying cards, playing, uh, I'm, I'm been playing a bunch of magic, the gathering, really excited about the, uh, what is it? Caverns of Ixalan. I'm still learning. Okay. I'm still new to magic. I'm still learning. Um, So be prepared for more uh, Magic the Gathering content. Um, I have full blown. So I grew up being a really big wrestling fan. I grew up loving WCW, uh, ECW, WWE, well, WWF when I was growing up. Um, You know, I had my own uh, backyard wrestling like organization with some buddies. My my character was Strider, Lord of the Rings love. You know, I had my cloak. my my one of my finishers with the narsil okay I'm, I'm getting off in that but anyway so i have rekindled my love of wrestling this year as well so um summer slam was you know every once in a while you know my, my partner and i will watch the premium live events the pay-per-views on on peacock just because um but summer slam was really what just fully pulled me back in so i'm watching week after week i got the amazing i i received a gift of a smackdown ticket it was incredible so if you watch smackdown what was that that was uh november 9th november 10th if you watch smackdown you will see me in the background with my bright blue bluey shirt um so yeah i've been getting into so much and i can't wait to talk about it with you all i can't wait to share it with everybody um i'm super excited to do that because I'm passionate about this. I'm passionate about making these videos. And I'm, I'm passionate about hanging out with with, with you all. Um, so those are some of the new things that have been coming in. You know, WWE making resurgence. Magic the Gathering really taking a hold of me. Um, of course, I still love Star Trek. I still love all my video games and, and, and comic books and everything like that. And anime. Finished Attack on Titan. Woo! That sent me spiraling. If you haven't caught up on Attack on Titan, I'm not going to spoil anything for you. But whoa yeah that that was a that is a thing uh but anyways thank you i'm sorry i know this has really just been rambling i've told you i was going to talk about uh you know the past present and future of this year you know what what is to come what has been with content i told you that uh some things that i've been into some things to look forward to you're still going to see more games you're still going to see more of me talking to you and then things like that. Um, but now you're going to see some new stuff coming into the fray. You know, there's a, there's a lot that I want to do and I really, really appreciate you all viewers. Like you have no idea watching my content, engaging with me. That's really what you're doing. It means so much to me. So thank you.
Thank you. And um, before I end this video, two things I want to share with you. Two more things. <laughs> uh, number one, tomorrow is November 17th. You need to pick up the Bluey video game. I will be doing that for my kids. <laughs> Bluey rocks. Um, and Andre 3000 is having a comeback. Another album from Andre 3000. I'm so excited about that. Um, so that was that was one thing. I know I realized that I said two things within that, but that was one thing. Um, <laughs> and the the second thing is it is still November. It is Native American Heritage Month. I haven't been as loud this year because, again, this year has been what it is. But uh, in that, um, please support indigenous people, support indigenous creators. I am so proud of of how far we have come as an indigenous community, as native people. You know, we've got two massive stream teams, you know, two massive content creating groups. We've got Nietzsche Clan and we've got four directions. Like when, when I started advocating, I've been advocating for, for indigenous people for a while, but when I started doing it in the game space, you know, back in 2019, 2020, I felt like I was on an island. And as I've been doing things, you know, as, as the years have, have passed, to see more people jumping out and being like, this this is an issue. Like we are still here. And of course there there have always been indigenous creators, you know, shouting out. But it's just been amazing to see the growth that's happened in, in the video game industry when it comes to indigenous people. Now, again, uh, the rest of the industry still has a lot of work to do. But my fam, all of us native indigenous people, we have been crushing it. So uh, please, it's Native American Heritage Month, 365. 24-7, you should be supporting indigenous people, but especially this month, do something. Have them on your podcast. Have them on your shows. Do co-streams with them. Whatever you got to do, support indigenous people, okay? So with that, thank you again from the bottom of my heart for watching this video, for putting up with me, and be well, Borderline family. I'll talk to you all later.